What's up, guys? Prince Sports here. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. Yo. All right. You guys heard about the young players not um, rocking with LeBron James when they had the meeting. They say he was real disrespectful, and he was acting like a true king, like he's like they're beneath him, and you know he's the almighty LeBron James. So <laughs> reports came out today too by Danny Green saying that um, LeBron James and the Lakers never attended to sit out games; they just was following suit because the Milwaukee Bucks did it. So basically, Danny Green saying LeBron James was being a fake woke type of person, okay? Um, do I think LeBron James cares about social just, injustice and um, racial tensions and all that stuff? Yeah, but as with most people, there's a limit, okay? Um, this is a perfect example for you guys to understand something about these athletes. These guys that you look up to, they're only human, okay? They're not almighty, they're not a god, they eat, they make money, they buy food, and they're sustainable to the same things in life that you are, okay? Meaning that they do a lot of fake stuff too, okay? I always say Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. Keep in mind that as good as he is on the basketball court, this is the guy that was an extreme scumbag. Cheated on his wife, got girls pregnant, um, treated his family like crap, okay? Borderline abusive to his family members. This was all Michael Jordan, okay? Now, if you think LeBron James is almighty, like his shit don't stink, dog, he's just human just like anybody else, and he got flaws just like other people. Now, LeBron James being selfish and being a fake, woke type of person, that's kind of a letdown, you know, for me. Um, if you're not about that life and you don't want to have nothing to, nothing to say about it, then just leave it alone. Don't say nothing at all. LeBron James continues to put his foot in his mouth, okay? Dog, if you weren't, if you just wanted to compete and win a championship because you extremely believe that you're going to win the championship, you know, no excuses. Then just say, hey, I want to play in the bubble. And I don't care about social injustice, particularly at this moment. You know? Yeah, you're going to take some flag for it. But it is what it is, dog. You know? Ever since this whole bubble stuff started, LeBron James was complaining that he missed his family. But he was the number one guy sparing and being the number one head to wanting to play in the bubble. Now, all of a sudden, you just woke warrior, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. LeBron James has done great things for the community. But what he's particularly doing right now is fake. I mean, it's just fake, all right? Does that take away anything for him playing on the basketball court? No. Does that make people respect him a little less? Perhaps, yes. The NBA has lost some fans over this stuff. There was a guy on TV not too long ago, by, uh, yesterday, saying that he would never pay tickets to watch another NBA game again because he thought the players were being selfish, you know, doing this injustice stuff, that they're being unprofessional. Okay, keep in mind, I disagree with what he said, but keep in mind that this is a business, okay? Now, you had LeBron James that was <laughs> being real fake on the... Uh, the social issues when it came to China. LeBron James didn't say no shit about China. And he kept his mouth shut. And I, I applaud him for doing that because you did the right thing. If you don't really care about what, what goes on in China, LeBron James, fine. You know, be like that. But keep it real, dog. Don't say nothing about it then, if that's the case. Okay? If you don't care about this particular issue, and other players felt a little more to heart about it, then keep your mouth shut, okay? For your own teammate, Danny Green, to be calling you out and saying that all of the reports of um, the Lakers wanting to back out this season and it was um, threatening to leave and all this other stuff, dog, it makes you look bad. And 
your own teammates throwing you under the bus? This is a thing I keep telling people. Those teammates would have never said those things about Mike. As fake as Mike was off the court, or as rude, or as disrespectful Michael Jordan was, those guys would never, ever say those stuff about him. Horace Grant would never say that stuff that he say about Mike to his face right now. Okay? Not even right now he won't. And when they were playing, it's the same guy that let Michael Jordan take his plate of food. He wasn't saying shit when it comes to saying um, stuff about Michael Jordan. LeBron, you getting way disrespected too much by your own teammates. You got to man up and be a, you know, let these fools know. If you really truly believe that you are a king and these young players was uh, feeling real disrespectful by you, then won't you stand up and do something about it, dog? Slap these fools up a little bit, okay? Make up your mind what you want to be. Do you want to be a nice guy or do you want to be a rough rider thug? You know, which one you want to be? At least with Michael Jordan, he was a scumbag, but he owned the fact that he was a scumbag. And he told you in the last dance. That's the way I got down. You either like it or you don't. And that is what made me respect Michael Jordan a little more because he owned the fact that he what, he what he was. LeBron James tries to be too many people for all different people. And that's not cool, dog. Just be yourself. You don't have to try to please one group of people, then please another group. That's like a Democrat being a Democrat in front of Democrats, <laughs> then all of a sudden changing his stance if he's in a room with full of Republicans. That's kind of fake, dog. So LeBron James, you're going to have to get that spoke for that, man. For them dudes to be calling you out, your own teammates, that says a lot, man. That's a damn shame. Press sports out.